it's time to get a little bit sweet and a little bit hot. Because today, Miss Wendy has released hot honey onto her menu. I'm so pumped because I love hot honey. Like, I don't love honey that much, but when it's hot honey, I could drink it. So they have two hot honey items. A hot honey chicken biscuit, which is a breakfast sandwich. It's basically a biscuit, a chicken filet, and hot honey. So that sounds simple, that sounds delicious. I just hope that the spice really comes through because I like my, my food spicy, if it's meant to be spicy, you know? And then the main item from the lunch and dinner menu um, is the hot honey chicken sandwich. It features a spicy chicken breast, melted pepper jack cheese, three strips of apple with smoked bacon, not two, three. Because Wendy said, let's be generous on the farm today. Let's give them some extra pig. It also has crispy pickle chips. Oh my God, I love fried pickles. I'm so here for that. And then it's topped with hot honey on a toasted premium bun. Um, it is $5.99, which is a typical Wendy's fancy sandwich price, right? And the breakfast sandwich is only $3.19. So here I have the breakfast version. It is 9.53 a.m. So the lunch uh, menu is not opened yet. So I'm gonna taste test the breakfast sandwich first and then order lunch afterwards. And I was thinking if they let me customize my sandwich, I'm gonna try the spicy version, the grilled version, and the original version. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on each item, rate them from one to 10, so you know which is good, which is bad, at least in my opinion, so that no one gets their money wasted, you know? Like some new items are trash. They taste like a dirty old banana peel, but some aren't incredible and deserve to be tasted by the masses, you know? So let's try the hot honey chicken biscuit. Oh my God, yes. Ooh, it smells spicy. Ooh, oh. By the way, um, the hot honey is infused with habanero peppers. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of habaneros. Like I love spicy peppers, but habaneros have a very interesting, almost floral kind of fruitcake fermented flavor to me, which I'm not that into, but I'm totally open-minded to this. It looks incredible. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so there's the hot honey. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, subscribe to my channel, Jimmy's Takeout, <laughs> for more brand new fast food taste tests. I try to stay up to date and taste test all the new items the day they come out. So you guys know right away if it's good. And I do full menu taste test, guys. So subscribe. Only if you want to, of course. Okay, let's try this deliciousness. Let's see. That's mm. that it's hard to swallow. Stands. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Oh, it's going down my throat like concrete. It's very thick. Mm-hmm. This is filling. Very heavy. Mmm. This is so good. Oh, <laughs> he keeps getting stuck. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna finish it. Hold on. Mmm. I ate that fast. What's wrong with me? Mmm. I fully understand the flavor profile right now. Okay, it's fully down. So, the biscuit, first of all, is delicious it's not dry by any means it's just super 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 dense and almost doughy but it's not raw it's just it has a doughy texture so when you chew it, it just really turns into like a very dense ball of bread in your mouth and it is hard to swallow so that's why i kept struggling but overall the sandwich is delicious now the hot honey which is supposed to be the main star isn't 
So that's a little bit of an issue. So I definitely taste the sweetness. The sweetness really comes through. Um, I can taste the flavor of the peppers and the spice, but it's not spicy. Do you get me? Like, okay, it might be spicy to someone that doesn't like spicy food, but to me, the spice level is probably a one out of a 10. It's very, very low. I hope they put more on the um, actual like chicken sandwich that I'm gonna order in 30 minutes. Ooh, <laughs> that just attacked me. So yeah, the hot honey is delicious. It really does have a sweet and spicy flavor going on, but it's just not spicy. So that is my one issue with it. Um, the chicken filet tasted great. It did taste a little bit processed, not quite as real as like their like main chicken sandwich um, filets. A little uh, chicken nuggety, but I didn't mind that. It tasted really, really good. Everything went so well together. Overall, minus the heat not being there, that was delicious. So I'm gonna give this sandwich, I think, an 8.5 out of 10. 1.5 off for not actually being spicy. Oh yes, let me just say, you, you can taste the habanero, but it's very slight and it doesn't take over, so I didn't mind it at all. It actually tasted very, very good. I think I don't like habaneros when it's like, a super strong habanero flavor, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna go order the other chicken sandwiches um, very soon, and then I will taste test those for you in this same video, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so it's about an hour later and the main sandwich queens are here. I can already smell it. it smells like paper <laughs> and chicken. A chicken on a tree. Did you get it? Did you get my joke? No? So we have one, two, three, like I said, I got all three versions, grill, spicy, and original. I will be trying spicy first because that's what the hot honey chicken sandwich is supposed to come with. So that's the main star here. It's the Kristen Stewart of Spencer. So this is the grilled chicken sandy. Okay, ooh, very cheesy. <gasps> Look at those pickles, very interesting looking. Okay. They like look breaded, but not really, it's like very interesting. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so this is I think original. I'm not sure though, but I think it is. That's a very thick chicken filet, like super thick, super heavy. Wow, looks amazing. And last but not least, I think this is spicy. Wait, which is spicy and which is original? I can't tell. Um, What do you guys think? Help me. Okay, I think this is spicy because it's a little darker and then this is original. Okay, so let's first try the spicy one, guys. Let's take a look inside. Ooh, okay, so I see the pickle kind of fried crumbles. Very interesting. Bacon, cheese, the chicken filet, and then the hot honey is on the bottom. I'll put my thumb down. Mmm. Mmm. jumped out at me. Little pickle things. They're very crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. So good! That is so good, guys. Wow. Oh wow, oh wow. The cheese and bacon really come through. Very crispy bacon. Like Wendy's has the best fast food bacon and that's just the truth, honestly. The fried pickles are not soggy. Most of the time fried pickles can be very soggy. These are, these are so crunchy and they're very, very, very thin. I'm kind of shocked by how crunchy they are. Like, what? Mm, but they have that pickle flavor. And then the hot honey, like the sweetness from it, truly brings out all the flavors. It brings out the spicy chicken. It brings out the bacon. It brings out the pickles. It all works together and just tastes sour and sweet and a bit spicy. It could be a lot spicier still, but it's delicious. And all the ingredients taste like high quality. I love the sandwich. Wow, I'm giving this, I think, a 10 out of 10, guys. It's a 10 out of 10, it's so good. Wow.
they did that. Now, before I try the other two, let me get my thumbnail, which I forgot to do. Now let's try the original and then the grilled, okay? So it has the same toppings, same amounts too. Looks fantastic. Wait, wait, this is the spicy one. This is the spicy one, guys, what? I'm shook it. Mm. Okay, wait, hold on. So I was mistaken. That first one was the original. This is the spicy one. It is. Legit a good amount of spicy because of the patty plus the hot honey. But let me just say that last one was actually spicy too. It is much spicier than the breakfast one. But this one is like spicy on top of spicy. It's so good. It tastes exactly like the original, just spicier. Literally, that's the only difference, but it makes it even better. So this one is also a 10 out of 10. I think that the original and the spicy are both perfection. It just depends on if you want a spicier sandwich or a little less spicy. Both of them are flawless. Now, the grilled sandwiches at Wendy's taste very different compared to the breaded sandwiches. So let's see how this one is. It's probably a little bit healthier. Let's try it. Those pickles. Mm. Okay. I don't think that the grilled chicken works as well with the hot honey. I think that the hot honey kind of needs some sort of breading on the chicken to soak into. Without the breading, it just kind of loses some of the oomph, you know? And I love grilled chicken sandwiches. It isn't about it being healthier. It's just literally about the hot honey not going as well with it. Do you get me? Um, also, the grilled chicken at Wendy's has a particular flavor. Um, there's a slight smokiness, a slight barbecuiness almost, like very slight. And for some reason that's not going that well with the um, hot honey. It's still great. I would still get it. Um, it just wouldn't be my first choice. Do you get me? Okay. So I'm gonna give the grilled version a seven out of 10. Ooh, what a taste test guys. That was amazing. If you wanna try the hot honey sandwiches, not sponsored, I would definitely recommend that you do because I think they are worth the money. They're not as spicy as I expected, but that's okay. They still come through with the flavor and the deliciousness. Let me know in the comments below if you guys end up trying them. Mm. Also subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout, for more brand new fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. I'll see you guys next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.